Hey guys, welcome to another video. So B6 is currently happening right now as I'm recording this, but there's a new weapon that they tease called Chakrams. And I actually want to break that down today in this video because there seems to be a lot of new potential to this weapon that I sort of wanted to kind of go over and see what it can do for the future of the game. So let's kind of go through the attack kit. Right, so here's the neutral light. So this is, seems to be similar to scythe end light where you kind of just bring them up. So it's kind of just a quick swipe up. And then this is the side light. And this is what got me excited because my prediction for the weapon was going to be shield. I thought it was going to sort of be like a disc, sort of how, how like Captain America uses his shield. And I was sort of right when I saw the side light. Now, what I'm curious about, since this is kind of like a projectile in some kind of way, are you still able to chase dodge out there? I'm guessing yes, because, you know, we have orb. That's sort of like a projectile in a way. But since we're using light attacks, it's just you still get a chase dodge. Also, I wonder if there's still a hitbox as it's going back. You know what would be sick? If you can hit the later part of the attack and it just goes back to you. I wonder if you can do that. As this is swinging, like as it's just flying around, I wonder if it still has a hitbox and you can use that to hit like multiple people. Now this is where it gets really interesting. So now we have stances on light attacks. So you guys thought it was just going to be seven with the spear d sig where you can just change stances from there. But now we have a whole weapon where you can change the stances. So this is kind of like their new active input where you can do different sort of variations of attacks. And as you can see, you can hit both ways. I don't know how many weapons have an attack, like just a light attack that can hit both ways, but this is super interesting. So this version, you can hit both sides. And what's weird is that they go up as well in this attack. It's kind of the same thing as neutral light. So you just kind of bring them up. So I'm guessing it's just another setup for like aerials. Now they kind of glance over this really quick, but there seems to be different properties for every single attack as you do the fused or the split version. So as it's like doing the transition, you can kind of see it's slightly different heights. So the fused version, they kind of go higher than the split version. So I'm wondering if it's just that the fused version is just going to have knockback and the split version is just has like fixed knockback. Kind of like how Battle Boots is where you do the active input, but there's no really like there's not that much force to it, but you just use that for more strings. But the non-active input, you just use that as like maybe spacing or just for KOs. So I wonder if that's a similar thing that's happening here. Now check this out. So as you can see, there's different properties on neutral light. You can also see that on the side light. Now as you see, the fused version, they just go right back. So you're just knocking them back. But the split version, you're bringing them towards you. So it's a multi-hit move. You know what would be sick? I, oh my gosh, there's so much different ways they can do this. I wonder if there's going to be some attacks where you can actually throw it farther if you charge it. That'd be super interesting if they could do that. This one's super unique because you're not really like moving them completely away like how sight is where you just do dare to like left to right or near to right to left. Like this is just like bringing them towards you, which is super cool. And as you see with the downlight, there's different versions as well. So it seems like the fuse version or, oh, okay, okay. So you have to kind of think it in the opposite. So as you start with the split version, you go to the fused version and it does like a regular downlight, sort of like a sword downlight where you just swipe down. But when you're on the fused version, you split to the both ways version, which that's really sick. I like that. Okay, so they show it here, split to fuse, fuse to split. So as you're going to the fused version, just knock them back. So it just goes forward, but the split version, they go up, which like, I wonder what that's gonna do with this. And then they just kind of just go crazy here. Now check that out. There's like so much stuff to this. It's actually so crazy. So let's kind of break down that clip right there. So this is the down air. So this is the split version. So it's it's basically going to be the same thing as the side light. And it seems to have sort of like a, a grounded animation. This could probably have some of the ledge breaking mechanics. I wonder what that's going to do. That's super interesting. So it kind of brings it back up. Oh, but it puts it to the side. Okay. And then it's doing the side light, bringing them towards you. It goes back down for the down light and it goes to the fused version and then does the side light. But since it's the fused version, you just knock them back. And since you're still on the fused version, this is the down air, but you just knock them down. You just did it again just for fun. Also, that recovery, that is crazy. It kind of reminds me of JM Sword and Sig, where you kind of just do that little like spin jitsu thing with the chakram. That's cool, I like that. I wonder if it's gonna have a similar property where you can kind of like move around 
like sword or like blasters. Now let's check out the other clip, see what they got. Ooh, okay. So Neutralite, sort of like the Scythe End Light. To Sair. So it just kind of knocks them back. So. Oh, it kind of has like a bit of like stun time to it. Sort of like Sword Sair. It's like kind of like, I think it's two quick sword swipes. This is like a similar thing to this. So that you kind of keep them in place and then you swipe them back. And you're just kind of like bouncing them off of it. I wonder if Sair's going to have a wall version as well. Maybe it's just like a swipe, not really like a throw. So you have the Nair. So it's kind of like, this kind of reminds me of Axe Nair, actually. It's like a mini Axe Nair. That's interesting. Also, it has a similar sort of like 180 degree angle to Boots Nair. I wonder if it's going to be different with the different versions, or maybe it's just going to be consistent so that it just kind of like brings everything together. Kind of like how Boots is. So there's the recovery. They go pretty sideways with the angle. That's interesting. And then you got the cider there. All right, here's another one. That looks so sick, man. Wow. That looks like a loop, but probably it's not going to be true. Doing that whole side leg dairy thing. Imagine though. So you got that to the down air. That's sort of, oh, maybe it's not. Okay, it's not true. You can kind of see him just kind of touching the ground, but it's still sick. I really like that. I wonder what the reeds are going to look like. This is going to be such a cool weapon to read with. And then it brings it back to the downlight. So I wonder if this is going to be true. I feel like that's going to be one of the consistent true combos. You just bring it back. You could probably do a neutral light after that, interesting enough. And then like, yeah, there's the neutral light right there. So they go really high after that neutral light. It kind of seems like it has knockback to it. That's interesting. And then the side air again. Have we seen the side air hit as the split version? I'm going to have to look at that. So side light. And it switches to the down light. So now we're in the split version. So I guess it is going to be for the side air. Like you just go up for the side air there. So I think it's going to be the same thing. Maybe it's going to have different speeds or knockback. Kind of like how um, seven spear d is. But one thing that I thought about with this weapon is that I wonder if the stances are going to apply to some SIGs as well. So I wonder if there's going to be a different SIG variation based off of the fuse version or the split version. I can see a lot of weapons going really well with this. Like for me, boots and chakrams would go so hard together. That would be so, so sick. Especially scythe and chakrams. They have like similar vibes to each other, but they, they do different things. I wonder what's going to be the first weapon combination we haven't really got a bow legend in a while like i wonder if it's going to be bow and chakrams i can kind of see that but i don't know they usually use a secondary weapon that's like easy to play like with greatsword there was sword and then with boots there was gauntlets so i wonder what they're gonna do as a secondary weapon also you can see at the end too there's like a ground pound now this kind of gives me Katar's vibes. I wonder if there's just gonna be maybe some bounce variations on the ground. I don't know what that's gonna do. But this is looking really sick. I love this. So that's the new weapon, Chakram. So I'm really excited to see what they're gonna do with this weapon. I hope you enjoyed the analysis of the new weapon, Chakram. I hope you guys are excited just as much as I am. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. See ya.